प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी के हमारे प्यार और सम्मान के प्रतीक के रूप में स्मृति चिन्ह देने के लिए माननीय रेल मंत्री श्री अश्विनी वैष्णव जी को आमंत्रित किया जाता है I call upon the general manager of Southern Railway Shri R N Singh to hand over the green flag to Honorable Prime Minister for flagging of the inaugural run of this prestigious Vande Bharat Express. Dakshin Railway ke Mahaprabandak Shri R N Singh ji se anurodh karte hai. The historic moment has arrived. The green flag is shown. The train has started. History has been created. A milestone achievement in the history of railways in Kerala and a proud moment for all Keralites. सुरक्षित और स्मरणीय रहे Vande Bharat Express is the first train completely designed and manufactured in India at the ICF facility Chennai and is fully air conditioned semi high speed train made with state of the art technology to ensure a safe and comfortable ride with modern passenger amenities the coaches are designed to be friendly for the young generation with amenities like on board infotainment service gps based passenger information system on board mini pantry ergonomic seating etc the unique feature of this train is the emergency talk back unit through which a passenger can communicate with the train's crew in case of an emergency each coach is equipped with cctv cameras and fire and smoke detector systems for safety and security this premium service will offer faster connectivity between southern and northern kerala with a maximum speed of 160 kilometers per hour Tiruvannathapuram Kasaragod Tiruvannathapuram Vande Bharat will become the fastest in the corridor We would like to extend our heartfelt thanks and express our immense happiness to our honorable prime minister for sparing his valuable time to be here with us and flagging of the prestigious Vande Bharat express train to Kasaragod Maninya Pradhan Mantri ji ko hum aabhar prakat karte hain कि वे अपना बहुमूल्य समय निकालकर आज हमारे बीच में आए और अपने कर कमलों द्वारा वंदे भारत एक्सप्रेस गाड़ी का उद्घाटन किया Now I request Sri Ashwini Vaishnav, Honorable Union Minister for Railways, Communications, Electronics and IT, to welcome this August gathering. Respected Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, Honorable Governor Sri Muhammad Arif Khan ji, Arif Muhammad Khan ji, Honorable Chief Minister Sri Pinarayi Vijayan ji. Honorable Ministers of the Government of Kerala, Honorable MP Dr. Shashi Tharoor ji, dignitaries present on this very historic occasion. Namaskaram, Asam Sakal, very warm welcome to this function. <laughs> Friends, today our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji has flagged off Kerala's Vande Bharat Express. in this beautiful land of kathakali kalarai pattu and ayurveda today a new attraction has been added as the young people of kerala will say adi poli adi poli vande bharat <laughs> so to the to the adi poli vande bharat now you have a adi poli travel experience so i thank honorable prime minister for giving this wonderful gift superb gift to the people of kerala friends as you are very well aware
the train is designed for 180 kilometers per hour train has a life of about 35 years as we move as we go forward we will be increasing the speed of the railway tracks how does it happen most of the tracks in kerala there is a very curving kind of route so most of the tracks are having a speed limit of 80 or 90 km per hour so what we will do we will be installing world class signaling system will change the track geometry at many places we will be removing the curves and straighten the tracks with all these improvements the train should be able to run at 110 kmph in the next 18 to 24 months but that is not sufficient kerala is a long coastline we should be able to move from north to south and south to north at a very good speed so what we will do honorable prime minister has sanctioned 381 crore for increasing the sectional speed to 130 kmph and 160 kmph complete detailed survey is going on for this and within next 36 to 48 months we should be able to increase the sectional speed throughout the stretch of Kerala and within next 48 months from Trivandrum to Mangalore should be done within 6 hours. Trivandrum to Kasargod should be done within 5 and a half hours. This is a great boon for the people of Kerala because the entire state runs north to south and the entire state is like one continuous population so the people will be able to move from one place to another at a very good pace we will be equipping this entire section with coverage which is a world-class automatic train protection system so with all these improvements Kerala will get world-class train services friends Honorable Prime Minister always believes in Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Vishwas and Sabka Prayas. Achieving upgradation of this level will require a lot of support from the state government. Honorable Chief Minister has been very kind. I have requested him and he has kindly agreed that there will be full cooperation. I once again request Honorable Chief Minister to give full cooperation for this upgradation project. Friends, we must remember one thing. From 2009 to 2014 period, a state as important and as educated, as highly aware, as highly intellectual as Kerala was getting only 370 crore rupees for railway development. Such a large state, three and a half crore people, only 370 crore allocation was there. When Prime Minister Modi ji took responsibility of the country in 2014, what did he do? First thing he did was immediately doubled the allocation for Kerala. Then he tripled it. Then he quadrupled it. And friends, I am very happy to share with you this year, Prime Minister has given 2,033 crore rupees for Kerala's rail development. It's a massive jump. What was 370 crore? And see, 2033 crore. This entire allocation will go in overall development of railway facilities in Kerala. A total of 34 stations are being taken up for developing them as world-class stations. I can read out the entire names, but I'll read only the big stations. Kollam, Arnakulam, Arnakulam Town, Tiruvananthpuram, Kolikod, Varkala, Chenganur, Trishur. Practically every major station of Kerala from north to south is being taken up for development as world class. And I must tell you, must share you a secret with you. When we started the development of railway stations, we thought that, okay, 
let us build a very modern kind of building, let's do this, that. But Honorable Prime Minister gave a vision which is for next 50 years. He said, whatever you design today, whatever you built today, should be able to meet the needs of our people for the next 50 years. That is Prime Minister's vision for railway. That is Prime Minister's vision for Kerala. So friends, every station that we are building will keep its own heritage and cultural values in place intact and build a world-class modern airport, better than airport kind of railway station. So if you take the case of Thiruvananthapuram station, Thiruvananthapuram Central has a very unique architecture. Don't you think so? Thiruvananthapuram Central has a very unique architecture. So how do we now construct a world-class railway station while maintaining this unique architecture? So we have taken up that challenge, deployed best of the architects, and with that vision of Prime Minister, we are rebuilding all these stations. Within next three to four years, you will see that the railway facilities within the state are practically world-class, comparable to any other place in the world, comparable to Europe, comparable to Japan, comparable to any place in the world. Lots and lots of projects have been taken up, friends. Total projects worth about 10,000 crore rupees investment is happening in Kerala. Lots of sections where capacity is required, doubling work is going on, multi-tracking is going on between Thiruvananthapuram to Kanyakumari, Arunakulam to Kumbulam. That way, practically from north to south, everywhere doubling and multi-tracking is going on. Now, what is more important? How do we preserve the culture of Kerala and how do we present that culture to the entire world? Honorable Prime Minister gave the concept of one station, one product. So in one station, one product, on the station, we build a small, nice, very compact stall and all the local products are sold there. So for example, in Kerala, honey, pickles, spices, cashew, coconut oil, all these places are all these items are today available at 35 stations where people are buying and the average income, average income of the people who are deployed on these one station, one product stalls is about 30, 30, 35,000 rupees a month. So that's a very big move where the culture and employment are connected. Friends, this is about railway. In the world of digital technologies, our Prime Minister has totally, totally changed the country's landscape in the last nine years. How many of you, of you are using a smartphone? Raise your hands. Smartphones? Practically everybody. Ten years back, how many of these smartphones were made in India? just about 1% or 2%. Today, all the telephone, all the smartphones, take your smartphone and show it. Take out your smartphone and show it. Show it like this. And if you can put a flash on it, flash, put the flash. Thank Prime Minister, because of his Make in India program, today 99% of the mobile phones are made in India. 99% of the mobile phones are made in India. Mobile phone industry is today employing about 10 lakh people. 10 lakh people. The export of mobile phone this year is 11 billion dollars close to 1 lakh crore. Imagine that is the power of a visionary when a visionary takes responsibility for a sector, converts that sector into a totally transformed new sector. That's the power. How many of you have used uh, payment system on mobile phone? How many of you have used Paytm? How many people have used it? Paytm? Raise your hands, Paytm. 
फोन पे भारत पे प्रैक्टिकली एवरीबडी हैज यूज पेमेंट सिस्टम नाउ आई टेल यू ए स्मॉल नरेटिव वेरी रिसेंटली सम वेरी रिच कंट्रीज मिनिस्टर्स हु मीट दे आस्क हाउ इन इंडिया प्राइम मिनिस्टर प्रेस इज अ बटन एंड द मनी गोज डायरेक्टली इन टू पीपल्स अकाउंट पीपल आर सो क्यूरियस अबाउट इट वर्ल्ड्स मोस्ट डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज रिच एंड प्रॉस्परस कंट्रीज दे हैव टू राइट चेक्स दे हैव टू सेंड दी चेक्स बाय अ पोस्ट ऑफिस मेल एंड इफ द पर्सन हैज लेफ्ट दैट होम और गॉन समवेयर द चेक इज लाइंग इन द पोस्ट लेटर बॉक्स इमेजिन एंड हियर इन इंडिया आ प्राइम मिनिस्टर क्रिएटेड द डिजिटल इंडिया प्रोग्राम 2016 and today a single pressing of the button and whatever amount has to be transferred it goes straight into people's accounts that is the power of digital india and that is the way our future is getting built friends our youth today when we ask them the first thing they say is our future that is what is getting built in the digital india imagine just 10 years back there were only 400 startups in the country only 400 500 today 90000 startups 90000 startups so much energy is there so much confidence is there among the youngsters that that is the foundation of our country friends this is the confidence which leads to development of new technologies like vande bharat new technologies like india's own 4g 5g technology stack and india is today ranked as one of the fastest roll out of 5g technology that is the power of prime minister's vision friends and that vision is getting reflected into kerala's development i thank honorable prime minister for everything that he is doing for the country and for kerala thank you very much namaskaram nanni